How does the Femoray AXP90X47 compare to a slightly bigger brother, the X53? I recently reviewed and unboxed the AXP90X53, a 53mm low profile air cooler. Both models are essentially identical in every way except for the height difference in the heatsink. Same 92mm static pressure fan, same mounting hardware for the LG1700, AM4, and AM5 sockets. Here I have the black model. The black model has a coated aluminum heat sink with nickel plated copper heat pipes. In this video, I will retest the X53 and compare it to the X47 with new thermals, benchmarks, and audio samples. The goal is to see if there are any measurable performance differences or benefits between the two despite the 6mm height difference. Building in the Form T1 incorporates a set of cooling challenges, one being its limited CPU cooler clearance when using the case in its 3 or 3.25 slot GPU configuration. There's a 48mm limit for the 3.25 slot GPU option and a 53mm limit for the 3 slot GPU option. For these tests, I used the Ryzen 9 7900X, a power hungry CPU capable of boosting to 5.6 GHz. The 7900X has a TDP of 170 watts and can pull as much as 230 from the socket. However, the X53 is only rated for 150 watts. The X47 has an even lower TDP rating of 135, meaning there is potential for the thermos to be slightly worse. I would have used the 7900 9X or the 3D variants because of their lower out of the box power draw, but I prefer the higher multi core performance of the 7900X as it uses PC primarily for video creation and rarely for gaming. Initially, I ran the test in both 65 watt and 105 watt eco mode, but after seeing a steep performance penalty, I decided to focus more on the 105 watt option. I wanted to see if I can get close to stock performance with less power draw and heat. In the conclusion of the X53 review, I observed a high pitched whining or vibration sound coming from the cooler with a side panel on. This was in part due to maxing out the available CPU clearance of 53 millimeters and the metal clips rubbing up against the side panel. I am going to skip the installation and unboxing process as it's the exact same as the X53. If you want to see that, please click on the link or card on screen. For this next portion, I'll show the fan noise results. Please raise your volume to get a better representation of the fan noise.
A quick note, while recording voiceover for this video, I set the x53 to 25% fast speed and the CPU got so hot, my PC shut down. The difference between 25% and 50% fast speed is profound. You really shouldn't go much lower than 50% fast speed with either of these coolers, especially if you're into productivity tasks. Overall, I believe the AXP 90X47 is a better option. Although it doesn't have the best performance of the two, it gets extremely close, plus it's smaller and has a quieter fan profile. Both of these coolers have a tremendous cost to performance ratio with the X47 coming in just under $23 and X53 coming at just under $25 USD. You could potentially get better performance with the full copper variant of the AXP90, but you do lose the clean all black look of these coolers. Thank you for watching, this concludes my video.